When we consider resistor networks, what we want to do is we want to simplify things down using either series combinations. So the REQ for a series combination is going to be R1 plus R2 plus however many resistors we have. Or a parallel combination where 1 over REQ will be equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus dot dot dot. So if we consider the resistor network in front of us, we can see that it's made up of seven resistors. Our first two resistors, R5 and R6, are in parallel with each other, which means we can simplify it to one resistor. 1 over RE1 equals 1 over R5 plus 1 over R6. To further simplify, we can see that R4 and RE1 are in series with each other, so that will be simplified to RE2, which we'll call R4 plus RE1. Our next step is going to be to look at what's going on with R2 and R3 which are in series with each other. So in order to come up with an equivalent resistance for those, we'll have an RE3, which is going to be equal to R2 plus R3. We can now see that RE2 and RE3 are in parallel with each other. So we can simplify those with 1 over RE4, which will be equal to 1 over RE2 plus 1 over RE3. Finally, we can see R1, RE4, and R7 are in series with each other, which leads us to get RE5, which is R1 plus RE4 plus R7, and we've simplified this down to one resistor. We can now consider it using Ohm's law to find the current. And so what we'd have is that the current in the circuit could be found using V is equal to I, R, and the resistor we're going to use is RE5.